Henry, good evening. Things are going pretty smoothly over here in Nashville on the interstate. As you can see, I-64 and I-20, I-65 and I-24, traffic is flowing smoothly. Now, as you can take a look over here at the side roads, this is Fern Avenue, and there is still a lot of snow accumulated on these side roads, so you want to use caution while you're traveling tonight. Now, there were a number of crashes throughout the mid-state this day, today. Take a look at this Sky 5 video from earlier this morning. According to Metro Police, there were 591 crashes officers responded to between 7 o'clock this morning and 4 this afternoon. 61 of those crashes did involve injuries. THP tells us troopers responded to 319 crashes and 40 of those wrecks involved injuries. Officers worked to get to those scenes, but as you can see, roads were slick and are still slick in some areas this evening. This is how roads looked in West Mead this morning. As you can see, a minivan loses control and crashes into the side of a stranded vehicle left on the side of the road. The driver attempted to get out of that jam and then began to spin out. Thankfully, it looks like a mother and her three children were able to get out of their vehicle safely and got a ride from a good Samaritan. But this was the story for much of the morning. Stranded vehicles and cars smashing into guardrails and TDAT crews were out in full force. And if you see our drivers, just give them plenty of room. And it's important to note that while the brine is working, there's still going to be slick spots. Um, so people just really need to take it slow if they have to be driving. Now, in those slick spots that T8 or T dot official was talking about, she's also talking about the black ice on the highways as well as the side roads as temperatures continue to drop this evening. So be careful if you have to be out on the roads. For now, we are live on Fern Avenue in Nashville. I'm Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5.